Hello, my name is Justin Miller, and I'm the director for the Rush Select program, and I'm here with Tim Findle, who is the head of video and scouting. The images that you're about to see, they're all of former select teams, and the aim of this video is to show some of our coaches and players a few key points when executing one of the Rush ways, which is playing a 3-5-2 formation. Let's begin. Okay, to start, we have a U16 boys team. The rush here is in white. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about building out of the back in a 3-5-2. So there are the three center backs, of course, the five midfielders and two up top. The image that we're painting here is showing the center backs. When the opposition isn't applying much pressure, the center backs need to spread wide and retain the ball. This is a little bit of the movement when we keep possession of the ball in our defending third and the other team isn't applying pressure. So there the center back went long. We broke a line, not fully successful. So we decide to come back, retain possession again. And then once again, you see the center backs getting wide, passing the ball amongst themselves while the opposition kind of shifts with us in the ball. Eventually, of course, the boys will need to try and break lines, and that's what they decide to do coming up here. Center mid drops off and gets it, and they get beyond the forward line and try and dribble through the midfield line. Not fully successful, but the image represents a good picture of the center backs retaining possession. All right, now we're going to highlight possession in the middle part of the field and explain the value of our center mid staying central while building. Here they all there, center backs back in position, we're set defensively, we do a great job shielding it. As we switch the field, our wing mid tucks low, drawing in that wing back, allowing for a 1v1 situation. Again, everyone's patient, everyone's disciplined, as she's coming, we have those three girls crashing, weak side going, and again, now we have our center attacking mid top of the box, ready for anything to come out. Now let's use this clip to highlight the value of the space out wide. Here you're going to see back line spreading. Center back gets on the ball. Love the turn up. Love that she commits defenders. However, this pass is too slow and a little behind. We don't take the space out wide. We go back in the middle. Another slow pass leads to a turnover. Another slow pass. And now it's just too many mistakes in a small area that's going to give the other team a chance here. If we build out correctly, there should be space out wide. And even if it's our center back, we need to encourage our players to take it when it's available. Now let's show you on this next clip, a full transition moment. We're going to talk over a little bit because you'll see a little later on the defensive side, but look how tight we are. Nice and compact. Everyone's helping back. You're going to see us win the ball here, and if we're too close, we need to teach our players that it's okay to get it into a new space. So as we win the ball back here, you're going to see the winger right here. Does a great job of dropping back. She isolates, again, that wing back sucking her, except it's now set player 1v1. The diagonal run is in the space behind. Our forwards go. It's a 2v2 situation. Takes one more touch at the goal. Nice far post shot. All right, let's pass it back to Justin. What do you got for us, man? Okay, next we have a U14 boys team. The rush here is in blue. And this video is to show kind of the connection with the forward. So here the forward is checking to get the ball. He gets it, lays it off, spins out, and gets it again. But then look where this other forward is. He's, he's far. And I think we need to continuously remind our players to stay connected to the forward, not be so far away. As you'll see, they do a good job to retain the ball. But really, it's an anticlimactic uh, end to what I thought was a good move, really undone because the forwards were not connected. So always remind the forwards to stay together, play together. Next here it's really showing about the willingness of the players to get in the offensive third in numbers. So now you're going to see us in blue. We have seven players here in and around the box, wanting to keep the ball, wanting to find an opening. They do a very good job on going from one side of the field to the other. The wing backs are both attacking here. This is the wing back about to cross, and the other wing back is in the box ready to receive it. So just really the willingness to be in the attack. That's great stuff. Now let's flip to the defensive side of things. 
With these players not knowing each other, it can be really difficult and sloppy at times. But with these few things that we can highlight, it will make us look more organized and increase the amount of times that we win the ball back. This first one's gonna highlight a lost possession. And right here, you're gonna see, we need our players to get behind the ball immediately. Great job tracking back, forces them to slow down. Our back three in a good position, they're connected, so there's not any gaps in between. Yellow sees that giant white wall in front of them. Here comes the four players getting behind the ball, applying pressure. It leads to us going down and winning the ball back. Let's keep following the play, and a big part of our defense is our offensive ability to get forward. Look how many numbers we have forward after that quick transition. A couple sloppy passes, but we have people there. All right, Our center backs do a great job of following attack. We're there for the loose ball. Anything that's lost here, we're ready to jump back on it, and it's going to increase the amount of times that we're winning the ball in the area. Next, we're going to show this defensive moment with the rush. We're in white here. And as the ball is about to be given away, something you've got to continuously remind your defenders is see their numbers. Are they at minimum even? We need to be aware here that they're 3v3. Now, when the player goes wide here, the center back, rightfully so, steps out to apply pressure because that's the most imminent danger. The wing back covers. There you see the painted with the three backs. The weak side wing back, they need to start recovering as she does here. And as the ball swings, this weak side wing back needs to be aware. She needs to split the difference between herself, the center back, and the two threats that are above her. As the ball shifts, the most important thing, again, is to apply pressure. She ends up doing that. On the other side of the field, I think you probably saw it, the center back and the weak back switched. She applies pressure, and we're able to get the ball back. Next, we have the U-17 boys. The rush here is in black. We're going to show kind of some hunting in our attacking third. We're going to give the ball away and notice the immediate reaction for the players to get the ball back. So here, the nearest player is going to the ball while the other players are closing gaps and staying balanced. We get the ball back. We try and attack again. Unfortunately, the same thing is going to happen. A giveaway. And again, the same thing. Immediate pressure. And it needs to be from the player nearest to the ball. It's also called hunting. This player is going to go get it. Forces a giveaway. All right, this last clip is going to highlight the work rate we need from our wingers. Look how right away, loose ball. Does a great job, good distance, immediately on their back not allowing a quick transition, slowing the yellow team down. All right, we do a good job of switching, and immediately their job's not done. We track back, we're giving the center back some relief. Can barely see it, but if you look, we have that weak side wing back also doing a great job of tracking. If we encourage our wingers to follow their runners, it's going to give our center backs a lot more confidence to stay connected and stay central in the middle. When picking your wingers, keep in mind of the work rate that you're going to give them, because they're going to need to be up and down the entire game. Again, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching this. This is the 3-5-2. Go Rush.